it's kind of interesting um, to think about how many students maybe walk out of schools and don't have that knowledge. And so like, wh- like, I, like what, what actually got you interested in, in some of that stuff? And, you know, like I said, you, you share it, like you, you share, I, I actually saw like some of the ups and downs you were sharing too with investing. And so like, what, what got you interested in that in the first place? Oh man, I have to say what really turned me on to it. And it, these two events happen approximately the same time. I'm going to date myself like for real, for real. Um, there was an episode of Say by the Bell that came out where <laughs> Zach Morris like bought some stuff yeah, on margin. I'm going to stop you. I, that, okay. is, that is not what I expected. <laughs> How did you get a financial literacy? Well, there's this episode of Saved by the Bell. <laughs> oh, well, of course. Isn't that how everybody gets into it? <laughs> you learn about potatoes. Sure. And, no. I you. I'm like, what? Saved by the Bell? Okay, sorry. Yes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, so that that's when I like first really started thinking about it and around the same time I was in maybe no a few years later in eighth grade then I remember that we um in civics class had like a unit on investing and so I started you know started thinking about it I didn't really do a whole lot with it um and it's it's really wild because now that we're talking about blogs I went back to my very first blog in like 2003 where I was like you know thinking I was going to be Beyonce but not <laughs> um and I did like a music blog mm-hmm. and on it I was just like oh I want to get into stocks and this was like 2003 and I'm just mm-hmm. like I, I just saw this like about two weeks ago it blew my mind but um I started um investing through my job through a 403b program um, and then, you know, the apps started coming along, the investing apps, and I started getting into those probably around like 2013-ish, but I started going really hardcore around 2017, um, you know, after talking to a few friends, um, Dr. Tutul and Toya, huge shout out to him. He sat me down and schooled me about the Robinhood app, and I was just like, ooh. So, you know, I really started getting into it, and I, I went like all in, um, I would say about maybe May of this year. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is probably really stupid advice. So I would uh, recommend that anyone listening to this don't follow, but I'll share. Um, I actually took out a, uh, a loan against my 403B from work Mm -hmm. because I saw that it had dropped like tremendously. And I was just like, you know what, my returns are better than this. So let me just Mm -hmm. go ahead and take out a loan on this. And um, so I took out a loan, started trading it and uh, decimated it. (laughs) so yeah but i ended up making like i ended up breaking even for the most part but um you know right now just trying to learn from those uh those early mistakes trading and um you know i'm good with the investing with letting the money sit there and 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 grow but uh, trying to learn trading and making those fast trades like i'm the wolf of wall street didn't work out as easy as it looked at first (laughs) so that's a thing to do like i actually i i invest but i like even i do stocks i do it long term right and so yeah yeah. so you got to kind of be with the ups and downs of that too right but yeah it's good and this is this is why i appreciate you because it could be easy. You share a lot of stuff. You've had success with it, but you share like, Hey, like you say, this didn't work. And I think that's, yeah. that's a part of the process, right? I got to yeah. Now I got to share this with you. Okay. <laughs> so I actually, I don't know. I can't believe that you brought up saved by the bell. Did you see the saved by the bell? Uh, like the unauthorized saved by the <laughs> bell. Did you see it? Yes, I did. I did. So it was just on TV one night and I was like, this, like, it was like a lifetime, right? It wasn't like a, <laughs> is that the one you watched? Like, it was like, I don't know if it was lifetime, but it was like a yeah, lifetime yeah. like channel, right? And I, think, like, I think that's the one I saw too, yeah. With the, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Yes. Do you remember that part? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what did, did you see that? I actually was, I was like, I'm not watching this stupid thing. And then two hours later, <laughs> like, that was amazing. Was like, oh my gosh, did you, you yes. What'd you think? Yeah, yeah. You know, honestly, I don't remember too much of it, but I do remember reading uh, Dustin Diamond's book where he wrote like the tell all about <laughs> Say by the Bell. And it was just, oh my gosh, that was insane. Okay, so I gotta I ask you, a question. Up. Do you So, like, were you in school when Say by the Bell was out? Yeah, yeah. Like, um, it, I think it came out in 89. So I was like eight, I wanna say. Yeah, yeah, I was like eight when it came out. And then by the time it went off the air, I think I was like in middle school or just getting into high school or something like that. 
And isn't there like some reunion coming out with this with Save by the Bell? Yes, it's on. Um, <laughs> it's on NBC. Not that, not that I'm streaming. interested. Not that I'm interested. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's streaming now. They have their new episodes. I haven't caught them yet, but no, seriously. Yeah, yeah, oh, NBC I didn't, Peacock I didn't app. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah the, the um, it, it is interesting to kind of see that there. I, I wonder, like, the reason I asked you is I'm trying to think because I actually watched Save with the Bell, but I think I was like, a, I can't remember how old I was. I, I swear that I was a teacher when I watched this. I don't think I was a kid, but maybe I was. Like, it's so, like, I got to look up when that came out. But I I actually have, um, I, like, I love watching, like, high school shows and stuff like that. Because you, <laughs> you relate to it as a teacher, right? But you're watching, like, student drama and things like that. Did, did you know <laughs> this show? So if you like Save with the Bell, do you know the show Degrassi? Do you know this? It's a Oh, of- I've heard of Degrassi. Drake was on there, right? That's where you got to start. <laughs> yes, that was like so they actually I, I remember um I remember watching it when Drake was on, but I can't remember I like I cannot remember his name for the life of me right now. Like his actual name. I don't I guess it's Aubrey. Aubrey, Aubrey uh yeah. so he was on and he was like I, they had like there's this is such a there's like an old show and whatever and they like had this band, it was like terrible music, <laughs> and you're kinda laughing. And so they kind of like redid it, but now it's like, uh, his name was Jimmy Brooks and he's like a rapper. And I'm okay. like, oh, this is like terrible. Like such, oh, you know, no. terrible, but I want to watch it. Cause you know, it's exactly, <laughs> especially like it's Canadian television. And then, <sighs> and then if you watch it, like, and then, and then somebody's like, Hey, like, have you heard of this Drake guy? I'm like, I'm like, who's Drake? And they show me, I'm like, that's the kid from Degrassi. What? He's like a <laughs> rapper. And then I like went back and watched like old rap clips. I'm like, it's actually pretty good. Like it was actually, 